But what we thought we'd do is not just pick a team at the moment. We've set the task for MG and for Ryan Girdler and Michael Chamis. Obviously, you can just uh, jump in from the sidelines and abuse them. Third man in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, do, we want your locks, those who are there, they've got their jerseys now, and then some bolters who I've we may it wrong, not have... I've just got Victor Radley and Isaiah Yeo. <laughs> That's all you got. That's all you got. I need to hit the books. Okay. Uh, all right, we've lost. MG, you still with us? Yeah, uh, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, then uh, Ryan Girdler, if you wouldn't mind kicking us off, have you got it? Um, some... oh, do I hear the team from uh, 2020? No. No, okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> need, don't need my help. Well, I, I've got Teddy locked in at the back. Yeah. I've got Nathan locked in at at seven, I've got Tommy locked in. I've got Payne Huss locked in. I've got Jack Whiten locked in. I've got Latrell Mitchell locked in. And I've got um, Jake Dubovich locked in. In what, the centres? Jake. Playing? No, Jake's oh, not Jake, sorry, not centers. Tommy. No, not Tommy's locked in in the centres. Yep. Yeah, I'll have him as right centre. Mm-hmm. Um, then I've got some um, <clears throat> questions around, you know, Victor Radley's got to be there somewhere. Um, Tarek Sims is playing well enough. Angus Crichton, Tyson Frizzell, Cameron Murray, Dale Finucane. Sai Fidi and Yo, so I think they're guys that are some back row, um, fighting off shit. for different positions. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've only got I've got well I, I think Brian Tai will be on the wing, so I I don't not sure whether you would consider Have him you a bolter. Him yeah. No, no, I, no I, I've got him as a. Kind of a bolter, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and the other bottle. bolter that I have who would start in the back row on the left-hand side for me and replace of Boyd Cordner who's not there would be um, Kalal Matangi, born okay. in... Um, wow. Born in born in in, in Sydney, um, played for Mascot and the Juniors, played in the Residence 2019 side, and I think he's one of the form back rows of the competition. And I think I'd have him out on that left side, next to Latrell, um, in the centres, and next to Jack Whiten, and I think that'd be a fantastic left side for okay. us. I like well, it. look, I love what I agree with what you said about Callum Matungi. Um, unfortunately, a missed tackle on Whitehead the other night really stood out. And that's kind of the thing that Freddie and the, the coaching staff will be looking closely at. They, everyone knows everyone can attack in this New South Wales team. It's the defensive efforts that are going to be most important. <clears throat> I think Tedesco is definitely a lock. A lock. Uh, the Fox is a lock. Um, Tommy Turbo, if he stays fit, is a lock. Um, Nathan Cleary, Damien Cook, and I would say Payne Haas are the locks. I would say then Pappenhausen... He keeps. We hear his name at number fourteen. Um, Isaiah Yeo probably would be lock forward, or if not Cam Murray, then the other the other one would be on the bench. Second row is the one I suppose that's up in the air it, at the moment. I suppose Ty, Tyson Frizzell and Angus Crichton are the two back rowers. I'd probably um, Spencer Lenu is getting a couple of mentions as well. Um, a bit like Liam Martin did this time last year, well not this time, but um, when Originals play last year and. Um, so he'd be a boulder. Brian Toto would be a boulder. Jerome Luai would be my boulder, but yep. Gerds, I noticed you didn't have Damien Cook in there. He's not a lock. No, he's not a lock for me yet, Cookie. I think um, Appy Corusau comes back um, today for the Panthers, and he's still got enough time, I think, to put his uh, put his hand up. I think Cookie's been solid this year. I think we're coming up against a, a red hot Queensland side, especially through the middle with their creativity around that spine with Harry Grant, Kalen Ponga. Munster and um, Cherry Evans. So we, you know, you need to think about that combination uh, at club level with Nathan Cleary and Api Corusau, Um And we're going to need to score points in this series. And I don't know, it, Cookie's done a great job for the last couple of years, but I think I don't, I'm just not willing to rule Appy out at this point. And you think L- Latrell Mitchell, I know he's having conversations again with Brad Fittler. There was some sort of, I don't know what there was, a falling out or whatever it was. It happens between coaches and players, obviously. Uh, it's good that they're, they're in conversation. He's only going to have, what, two weeks uh, once he gets back from this suspension to get back into the swing of things? Yeah, I think he's just a player that, you know, we need. If we've got an advantage in this series, I think it's going to be out wide and we need to put our best players in there. And I know we're going to have four or five fullbacks involved, but they're just all great footy players that can yeah. do a great job for us wherever they're put. And I'd have him in my left centre spot. That'd be my dream team back line, I would say, that Tedesco, um, Latrell and, and Tommy Turbo in the centres um, with Fox and Brian Toto. I think you can get away with having shorter, if they are shorter wingers, then... Um, that's the rules to poo out because I think with the Latrell and Turbo, they make up for it. Um, and then you've got the 5 eight position, which Cody Walker's the incumbent. He's done nothing wrong. Um, they, call, they keep talking about Jack White, and I think Jack might be on the bench. 
um, somewhere because you, you'd need him in the team somewhere. But yeah, Jerome Luai, if he keeps if he goes well again today against Manly um, and keeps on that trajectory that he's been playing, he's no, he's going to be right in the frame. Yeah. He's gonna be you right can't in it. you can't get enough fullbacks to play centre in State of Origin, can you? No. Uh, we we'll come back. We want more. We'll say goodbye to Gerds on the Saturday scrum.